Howdy doody everybody, my name is Kev Gooey and welcome back to Nikopara. In the last episode, Shigure actually bought out the bakery shop and then we had to close it down because everything was sold out. And now I'm back apparently. I don't know from what. Hmm. What? What? What's amazing? Hmm? I'm kind of fuzzled. What happened while I was gone? Hi, it's so cool. Really, really. What is? What? What happened? You both are so excited. I had just come back from shopping to find the two of them in really high spirits. Oh. Hmm. I couldn't imagine what had changed so drastically in the little time I had been out. Wait, how long have you been out? I find little time. Well, maybe they were really getting into that cat toy. Huh, maybe. Okay, okay, what is it? Is it the cat toy? Yeah, I get that it's amazing, but what exactly is it? Seeing is believing. It depends. But, okay, I'll go take a look. Faster to have a look? That's just an empty room. Chocolate and vanilla pulled me towards the empty room. Hmm. What's in here? Whoa! What the? Yeah, what the indeed? This was this was an empty room. What happened? How, how did all this get here? How did that big bed get here? What? Why is that TV? Um, uh, just. Uh, why is that over that TV screen? The moment the door was open, there was a pink and white spread before my eyes. The colors overflowed from the floor, bed, dresser, and cushions with their antique rose design. Wow. There also seemed to be a sweet, high-class scent wafting throughout it. I would think so. It seems pretty high-class and fancy. Not to make it classy, you need a, you need a chandelier. Clearly, a room that wasn't here before was spread out before my eyes. Yeah, how long were you gone, Kasho? I immediately started to wonder if I'd somehow walked into another dimension. Yes, that's the first thing everyone always thinks about. Did I walk into another dimension? Maybe. What? How? With what? I I'm confused. Oh. Oh, I get it. Okie dokie. Now that you mention it, it has the same feel as your room back home, huh? I found myself greatly confuzzled as I leaned against the wall. Oh, at least the walls aren't like pink and white. <laughs> I remembered it was one of Shigure's hobbies to decorate each of the cat girls' rooms to something like this. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Each of the cat girls' rooms? How rich is my family? They like, wear four cat girls. Me, I mean, before. Uh, Chocola and Vanilla, well they sleep together I would assume because they're always together. That's one room. Two, three, four, five, six, counting Shigure. Um, seven including me. And then eight for my parents. What the heck? That's a huge mansion house! Because of our traditional parents, Shigure herself had a relatively normal Japanese style room, so it seemed like she poured all her effort into their rooms instead of her own. Hmm. 
Hmm, I see, I see. Shigure did also say that she dressed the cat girls according to her own taste too. All of them, except for Maple. Really? Why Maple? Actually, I wouldn't care if my bed was like that. If it's fluffy and woofy and smells nice, I, I'd be like, oh, thank goodness. Oh, comfy. Yeah, what is that, like a king size bed? Queen. Wow, Shigure might have been an education freak. I'd forgotten how much she really did spoil them. Wow, yeah, my family is super duper rich, I'm, yep. Speaking of which, when did that girl have time to set all this up? Well, like I said, Kasho, how long were you out? I mean, it was bright and sunny outside, and then bam, darkness. You must have brought this all in while I was out. That really speaks volumes about her abilities. Hmm, well... This is your room, so use it as you wish. <laughs> no. Maybe. Well, you do have that expensive looking bed and all. <laughs> well, I would rather have a headboard than the uh, golden bars be you know where the pillows are i don't want to like back up and then the pillows fall or like i hit my head in the uh the bars <laughs> it does look fancy uh huh what Oh, well, not jealous anymore. Wow, wait. Are those flower uh, patterns on my walls? Eh, what happened? Huh. Oh, okay. Well, at least it's big and fluffy wuffy. Oh, I'm super duper happy. Kasha, are you super duper happy? Your, your hat off? You mean your, your little bow right there? Wow. Chigure! There was no way I could just throw out all the new things in the room. Hey, why would you throw it out? If it's fluffy wuffy, then it's all good. And so I became burdened with a glorious fantasy princess room. <laughs> but surprisingly, I slept extremely well, so I didn't complain. Of course, it's a fluffy wuffy bed. <laughs> Bouncy, bouncy, it's so bouncy, meow. I'm drowning in the sea of fluffiness. Aw. Sea of fluffiness. I just picture like a sea full of feathers. Oi, are these actual customers, not my sister? Yeah, they, they actually learned everything somehow. And like, remembered how to speak to customers correctly. Yay! These no milk oil? What is that? Sounds yummy. And a chocolate Mont Blanc? Ooh! Ooh. How many customers do you have? 
形はこちらでドライアイスはお使いですか Wait, wait, what? Dry ice? Who? People at bakery shops don't have dry ice just to, for people to carry at home. Eh? Do they? I don't think so. Hmm. Alright, maybe I'll take this moment to bake some more sponge cake for the shortcakes. Oh my goodness, sponge cakes. I love sponge cakes. I looked through the window onto the bakery floor and saw that the customer traffic had calmed down a bit. Glancing at the clock, I saw that it was almost 3 p.m. Oh wow! It seemed that selling out and closing early on opening day actually got us noticed. Wow, that's a good strategy. Just sell out on opening day and then people will come. <laughs> Thanks to some tweets and blog posts. Word of mouth had spread and we were really busy the next day. Sweets? You could argue that it was just a big coincidence, but this was definitely all because of Shigure. Aww, thanks, sis. Oh no! Got it. I'll start making more now then. Onwards! ご主人、誕生日ケーキのオーダーもらった。注文書をここに入れとく。Birthday cake? Ooh. Alright, I'll check it later. Huh. Wow, we're busy. I think chocolate and vanilla are actually able to help out this much. Good thing we didn't send them home. Whew. I watched as the two of them quickly and energetically engaged the customers. Chocolate was as enthusiastic as always while Vanilla showed her attention to detail. Huh. Yeah, Vanilla would be the type to show attention to detail. They greatly contributed to the rising fame of the bakery as La Salil's poster cat girls. Wow. I really didn't expect much when I sought their assistance, but they've been a big help. Yes, they have. Hmm, well. It's about time for a break, huh? This one is almost done, anyways. Ooh, what is? I lightly stretched my neck side to side as I took the ingredients for the next batch and put them in the refrigerator. Ooh. Oh, shortcakes, sponge cakes. Good work, you two. Uh, what? <gasps> Cheesecake? Mmm. What? Rare kind? This is because you two have been working so hard. As requested, here's your reward. Ooh. That looks so yummy. Rare cheesecake. I want some. Mm hmm. The eyes of the two cat girls were sparkling as they looked at the rare cheesecake with delight. It was worth it to see them this happy. Yeah. It, it's totally worth it. I sat down into a chair and poured hot water into the teapot. Huh? How? Aww. Aww, man. I can't do that either. <laughs> oh, that's a good idea. Wait, wait, you're telling me to draw, <laughs> draw you two and a cheesecake and, and be quick about it? Just hurry up and eat it. Break time is almost over. I calmly urged them as I poured three cups of tea. 
As always, these two cat girls had limitless energy, but I seriously wondered if they were trying to act as silly as they were being. It is? Oh man. I put so much love into making this glossy rare cheesecake. Aww. <gasps> There's lemon in there. Ooh. Oh, wait, the bitterness. I'm glad you two like it. I made some sauces for it too. There are sauces for cheesecake? It'd help if you two could give me some feedback on them. Your favorite chocolate sauce? Uh, what's matcha powder? Yes? Of course! Wait, it's... Wait, cheesecake is unbaked cream cheese? Hmm. Huh. Never really looked into how cheesecakes were made. Hey, I am a professional. Yeah, I am super cool. Well, I am a beginner, but I can at least do this. They've probably been waiting for an opportunity to praise me, so I suppose it's a good thing. After hearing their request, I actually secretly did some research on making rare cheesecakes, but I'll leave that as a secret. Oh, you sly dog, you, Kasho. You two are. Hey, you don't need to bring that up. I know. I know it would have been hard. You're right. You two really were a big help. There, there. I patted both the genuinely happy chocolate and the proud vanilla on the head. Really? Awesome! <laughs> oh, you too. あ、素直じゃないんだから。何らもケーキ屋さん気に入ってるんでしょ。ショコラと一緒に働くの楽しいからね。ああ。それだけだから本当それだけ。だ、だって。ははは。バニラの方は赤いぞ。Oh, you vanilla. <laughs> My poster cat girls were such adorable little things. I watched them go at it as I poured another cup of tea. I can understand why cat girls make great mascots though. It was heartwarming and sweet to see them act like such happy sisters. Yeah. Since you two are helping me this much, you're going to have to really study hard, right? Study? Hard? Oh yeah, the uh, permit stuff. Oh, 
ご主人はもう会長職に引退を決意はい、no. No. You think I'm going to retire a few days after opening? Studying for your qualifications. You two remember what Shigeri said, right? On hearing my words, their blank expressions changed as their eyes began to shine. Yes, the bell. Yep, you two are working really hard as poster cat girls after all. <gasps> Chocolate and vanilla turned to each other with looks of amazement. Suddenly, they both stood up and bent forward across the table. Of course. Mm hmm. Of course. That's what I said, right? If you two weren't around, I don't think I'd be able to keep the bakery going. Just like before, I tapped their heads in thanks again. I'd be ecstatic. Ah, of course. Mm hmm. Yeah, I'm proud of you two, but. As your owner, I want to have proof that I raised you two well, too. That's why you two should work for your own sake as well. I'll also do my best alongside you two. I ruffled their hair. They closed their eyes and smiled even more brightly than before. Yay! Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, like where? Ah, sure. Whether it's an amusement park or the aquarium, I'll take you to there. Aww. The Little Mouse Kingdom. Huh. That's a long stretch there. Well, uh, for the crater on the moon. Uh, within reason, okay? Are you two listening? The two cat girls were lost in their own fantasy worlds while their eyes gleamed. I never thought that they'd start dreaming of going overseas or even space. A cat girl's dreams obviously weren't something to make light of. They were incredible. Aww. Whoa. Oh wow. Vanilla has big dreams. Okay, that's a little far. Hey, breaks over you two. Go get to it. It was a bit of a struggle to bring chocolate and vanilla back to reality after they had traveled so far mentally. Aww. <laughs> Oh, you do you. My name Mu Izu Chakula. Oh, I'm trying to speak English. And I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Nico Para, where we got some pink stuff for our room and made that super rare cheesecake. So, everyone, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you guys did, then please slime that like button and help support me by sharing this video and by subscribing down below. Thank you, everybody, for watching this episode, and you will hear me in the next one. Goodbye.